We're here at the Plump House Cafe at City Road Basin, and I'm Sorwar Ahmed. I'm the voter liaison manager for London for the Canal and River Trust. My job involves listening to a lot of voters and other user groups to come up with a shared um, consensus about how we should manage the canal. What we've been doing along this stretch in Islington, uh, at City Road and Knoll Road area, um, has been to work with the council and others to kind of find some solutions to the problems that we've been having over the years where there's been conflicts with local residents, uh, with other river users, canal users, etc. So one of the things we've been doing, firstly, um, is about freeing up the lock landings and making sure that visitors can pass through the locks and can moor up at the lock landing. So we've painted the lock landing bollards yellow, which signifies um, that they're for temporary use only. Well, there's a lovely story behind the community garden. I think the idea came was uh, was belonged to the children and the, and, the, and the school itself. They came up with the idea two or three years ago, and we uh, set up a fundraising campaign to raise money for it um, on our website through the towpath fundraisers and so on. And luckily, you know, we've got there. It took us two or three years to get here, but now we've got enough money um, to fund the project. Um, and that allowed us to, to buy all the kit the school needed. I started in the spring last year and it was lovely weather, but uh, obviously over the winter it gets a bit uh, inclement sometimes. Well, we're at City Road Basin. We've just walked past City Road and we're at Wharf Road. Um, these moorings here were used for winter moorings this winter. They proved really popular. Um, I know it's something that divides the boating community, but there's a lot of demand for it, and this year they've been really popular. Uh, one of the things that we have to deal with, though, is the perception that moorings cause, uh, cause nuisance, and actually part of my job, a big part of my job, is to work with those kind of local residents and local authorities to bridge some, uh, bridge the understanding gap and make sure that people understand what it is to use a boat in an area and to make sure that we're monitoring any issues that may come up. Well, we've uh, introduced a scheme called the Caretaker Boaters. This is an idea, again, that boaters came up with, saying that they had a caretaker who would look after the mooring, uh, report issues to us, and just welcome boaters when they arrived at the mooring. That would be a great way of starting to manage the issue of people staying too long or not knowing where local facilities are. So we've got a flotilla, a small group of people who volunteered boaters to, to stay on the visitor mooring as a caretaker. And we're right here with one of our boats here. Yeah, I met the caretaker yesterday. There's uh, quiet rules and we can only run our engines for an hour a day um, and just to be respectful of the residential area that's around us here. Does that bother you or is it is it nice there? Uh, not really, I don't mind it. It's, it seems fine to me. It would be a shame if they stopped mooring down here because it's a beautiful place. You know, it's a really nice place to be. So I think everybody's happy to um, to do their best to, to keep a low profile.